we are putting the whole world into a different atmosphere. And that includes the forests of the world. But we need to get ahead of that game. And that's what the Buy4 Face facility is all about. Putting patches of the forest into the atmosphere, not just of today, but the atmosphere which I'm afraid we can't avoid the higher carbon dioxide atmosphere of the 2050s and 2060s. As a society and as a planet, we are facing two enormous emergencies, the climate change emergency and our biodiversity crisis. The climate change emergency is very clearly being driven by a change to the atmosphere. That change is an increase in the amount of carbon dioxide. We are looking particularly at how that change to carbon dioxide in the atmosphere affects the forests of the world. By far is the Birmingham Institute of Forest Research. It works as a hub that brings people from different disciplines together, focusing on forests and on solving our big environmental crisis. This experiment is quite unique. There are only three of these experiments in the world. There's one in Australia, Uke Face. There is uh, this one, by for Face. And then there is one now being implemented in the Amazon, which is Amazon Face. And these experiments are the ones that are gonna tell us how mature woodlands or mature forests are responding to CO2 enhancement. And these allow us to look into the future and see what's happening to these old growth forests. At the same time, these are amazing open air laboratories that allow us to understand the ecology of forests from different perspectives. So we have so many experiments. These are one of the most studied patches of forests in the world and we keep adding to our knowledge related to CO2 fertilization, but also related to forests as a whole. The University of Birmingham is very well connected with other big organizations across the world. And we have this strong connection, for instance, with Brazil, the country with the largest tropical forest in the world and the most diverse forest in the world. We have connections with other partners in other parts of the world as well, with China, with India. And that gives us a possibility to really be at the center of the global science. by for face is an amazing place. It's a lab that has been tiptoed into a fully established forest, setting up 103 steel towers, eight stories high, three experimental patches balanced against three control patches in order for us to then introduce the gas. seen some really exciting results in the first seven or eight years of our experimentation at by 4 phase. We're changing the amount of carbon dioxide in the air by about 40%. We're seeing about 23% going into the leaves as extra photosynthesis. Then we're seeing about 10% change in growth of the woody material in the stems and branches and woody roots. All the rest of the carbon is going partly into the green leaves and the fine roots and other parts and the seeds that are in the trees. And then a very important element is going out into the soil, essentially to feed all the microbes that are helping the tree balance its diet. The research that we're doing at by four face is telling us about the response to the change that as humans we are imposing on the forest world. As we look into the future to tackle this climate emergency, by four is positioned in a strategic way to bring together scientists from different places in the world, also science from different fields, but it's stakeholders, particularly from governments and conservation uh, organizations 
that can really help us providing a solution for the future. The big message that I think the forest is feeding back to us is that we cannot take this for granted and we should not take this for granted. The extra carbon dioxide in the atmosphere in our children and our grandchildren's time, it needs to start going down. Otherwise, the forests will just not be able to help.